Hello everyone, this is Hax the Clappa, and today welcome to the very first episode of my new series, The Wings of Glory Beginner Guide. When I've been playing this game, I've realized that it's very easy for somewhat experienced players like me to club other players, and the general skill level is pretty low, so I aim to improve the general skill of the community. So hopefully the game is a lot more fun for us experienced players. Today's video is more or less going to be on the game's basics, so if you play the game somewhat regularly, you probably won't need this. But for my new viewers, or those new to this game, let's start off. So I've made a tutorial account, well, it's just a brand new account, you see I have no kills. And we'll start by looking at what planes we have. To grab. So the first one we're going to grab is the F4, F-4, but here are the planes that you kind of want. So the good planes here, you have the F4J, which is whatever, and then you have the Lightning. These are the top tiers. There's a Mirage for France. Russia has the MiG-21 Biz, which is really good. You also have the F-104s and the F-1. These two aren't that amazing, and the U.S. also has the F5 for the Air Force tree. And so here's a quick code so that we can instantly get the F4F-4. Today we'll be going down, for the sake of this tutorial, the US Air Force tree because I've been wanting to try out the F5, which is the top jet for the US Air Force tree. A anyways, today we'll get the F4U1C and I'm going to show the controls. So, now that we've loaded into a game, let's take a look at the game's controls, which you need to get familiar with. So now, you can feel free to pause the video and take a look at these controls for yourself, but I will be demonstrating them in a quick second. Anyways, let's go into the next part, which is choosing your ammo type for your plane. So if you see in this top corner, you can select the weapon, and then you can select whatever ammo type you want to use. Generally, you want to select air targets or stealth belts, but for now we'll choose tracers, because air targets is not available. So, let's start with one of the most important controls, the V key, which you hold and move your mouse to look around. This is very important, as it allows you to take a look at your surroundings. Now what I'm looking at is the W and S keys. You hold W to go down and S to go up. Now this is the A and D keys. A is to roll to your right and D is to your left. The throttle here is shift and control. Shift to speed up and control to slow down. Another control is L for this acrobatic smoke, which is something you probably won't use, and G for ge landing gear, which we'll probably never use, because landing is pretty janky in this game. So now that you know the controls, how should you use them most optimally? Well, you can use your keyboard keybinds to move around ge generally, and use your mouse to control your plane when you need some more fine adjustments, like what I'm doing now when I'm shooting at a plane. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm looking around. I'm looking around for targets, and I'm not using my look around key mostly because I don't. I can see the enemy's locations on my radar, which is the map on your top right. You guys should always take a peek at that because very often there might be someone behind you, and while the scale isn't the best, you can still see people very often from that. And it's always good to know that, because otherwise you're gonna get shot down pretty quick. Anyways, now that we've gone through the more important stuff, let's talk about some other parts of the game. So what happened right now was that I pointed my nose too high and I stalled out, making me an easy target as shooting at a slow target generally grants you easier shots and makes you easier to kill. Now what else? So I see a lot of new players dying to head-ons, and head-on engagements are a part of the game. It is what it is, but what you can do is you can fire earlier than when the marker 
shows up. A marker shows up at 1.6 kilometers, but generally shooting between 1.8 and 2 kilometers will usually grant you a kill. Now once you see the lead marker show up, that's when you pull out. You don't need to full commit to kill them, as m more often than not, the bullets that are already in the air at that point will be sufficient to kill them unless hit reg is not on your side. And in that case, more bullets probably wouldn't help too much anyway. Another thing you should keep in mind is overspeed. Have you ever been flying your plane and you're diving down on somebody and suddenly you just die? Well, your wings broke probably due to overspeed. Once you see that red line of words saying overspeed, you should throttle down to avoid your wings ripping. Now this starter plane won't rip its wings very often, but later planes will. And many people are puzzled at why their wings are just suddenly falling apart. And that's what I see most of the time when people have that little crash icon in the kill feed. Anyways, with that, you guys should farm 400 so you can buy the grinding powerhouse, the F4U-1C. Now, I'm going to skip to the end of the match. You see, when you get the most valuable player, which is the person who got the most points in the round, you will get 5 upgrade points and 3 if you win a match, 1 if you lose. This scales with tiers. Anyways, now that we got our coins, we, we can get our F4U-1C. Don't bother with the f 4 you want DS, that thing is pretty terrible. With those upgrade points, we can then upgrade the F4U1C, and the upgrade that you want is the Talisman. This will make the grind much easier, as you will get a lot more coins, and that will allow you to progress through the tech trees much faster. Anyways, we'll leave off here, and have fun grinding for now. The next video will be on how to dogfight. Thank you.